Hey there, welcome to Fear Captures. This is the go-to place for all you thrill seekers who love a good dose of the mysterious and unexplained. We're here to show you the coolest and most mind-blowing camera footage we can dig up. We're talking trail cameras, security cameras, and other devices that catch crazy stuff when nobody's looking. So buckle up and let's dive into these awesome captures. There's something eerie about a quiet forest, isn't there? It's like every tree holds a secret, especially when there are spooky stories floating around. Recently, a guy named Don was out for a stroll in the woods when he came face to face with something straight out of a nightmare. This creature moved in a way that was neither human nor animal. Don cautiously approached, filming all the while. It looked kind of like an ape, but its arms and legs were unusually long and bent and it was hunched over. Some folks think it might be Sasquatch, but what caught my eye were its arms and hands. They were unlike anything I've ever seen. No fingers, just gigantic sloth-like arms. As it disappeared deeper into the forest, Don wisely decided not to follow. Now, what could this thing be? Some say it's a deformed monkey or a sick bear, but it seems too skinny and clumsy for that. It even walked on two legs, almost like a human but with an otherworldly vibe. People have been calling it all sorts of things, from a forest spirit to a humanoid angel. Personally, I'm not sure about the angel part, but I definitely believe there are mysteries lurking in the woods. What do you think this creature could be? Let's unravel this forest mystery together. Behold another captivating footage capturing the raw essence of a Bigfoot's wrath. While some may find the creature's aggression surprising, there exist myriad reasons behind its ire. The relentless encroachment of urban development, tearing through pristine forests, serves as a poignant reminder of the destruction of Bigfoot's ancestral home. Furthermore, the intrusion of hikers and adventurers into its secluded domain disrupts the tranquility of its solitary existence. The Odysseus attempts to capture a Bigfoot, whether for scientific scrutiny or mere fascination, evoke a primal fury within the creature. The cacophony of human activity, amplified by the incessant roar of engines and the relentless click of cameras, only serves to exacerbate its agitation. Moreover, the looming specter of climate change casts a grim shadow over its habitat, reshaping the very landscape it calls home. These manifold threats underscore the profound impact of human intervention on the delicate balance of nature. As we ponder the implications of this astounding footage, let us reflect upon our stewardship of the natural world and the responsibility we bear towards all its inhabitants, mythical or otherwise. This video stands as a testament to the enduring power of the wild. Share your thoughts on this remarkable encounter. So there's this video that popped up on the Everything Cryptic Instagram page, and let me tell you, it's got everyone talking. The thing is, we don't really know much about where it came from or who shot it, but it's definitely got people intrigued. Here's the scoop. Basically, the folks in the video were just out filming some nature scenes when out of nowhere, they stumble upon this seriously strong and aggressive looking creature. And let me tell you, it's not your average forest critter. Now, when it comes to creatures like Bigfoot, most folks think they're pretty chill and laid back. But there are others, like the Chinese Yirin and the Missouri Monster, that are known to be a bit more on the aggressive side. The Yirin is said to hang out in the wild mountain areas of China. It's kind of like a Bigfoot or Yeti, about six to seven feet tall with reddish brown hair and a human-like appearance. Then there's Momo, also known as the Missouri Monster, Legend has it, this guy roamed around Missouri back in the 70s. Picture this, seven feet tall, dark fur, and a head shaped like a pumpkin with bright orange eyes. Now, back to the video. It's a bit shaky, making it hard to get a good look at the creature. And since we don't know where it was filmed, it's tough to say exactly what it is. But judging by the landscape, I'm thinking it might be somewhere in the U.S., what do you think? It's a real head-scratcher, but hey, 
That's what keeps things interesting in the world of cryptids and mysterious creatures. Let me know your thoughts. In a remote desert area in Portugal, workers were surprised by rumors of a gigantic figure roaming around their worksite. Curious and a little nervous, they decided to investigate further. Days later, one of the workers spotted the massive being and quickly called his colleague to bring a camera. They filmed the vast desert landscape and chatted nervously as they zoomed in on the creature, which stood out against the horizon. This creature was huge, towering over everything around it. Its arms were incredibly long, like the length of a grown man's leg. Despite its stooped posture, it still stood about ten feet tall, almost as tall as a nearby tree that it dwarfed as it moved. As the workers watched, they realized it would be unwise to approach such a creature. Its massive arms and legs suggested it could easily defend itself if provoked. After a while, the creature disappeared from view and the workers wisely chose not to follow it. They continued to discuss what they had seen, with some thinking it might be a hoax due to a feeling that something wasn't quite right. What do you think? Do you believe this giant in the desert is real? Or is there more to this story than meets the eye? I'm a sucker for anything that gives us a peek into the world of wildlife, especially when it involves predators in action. Check out this jaw-dropping moment. A wolf hot on the heels of a coyote right in front of some ice fishermen. Talk about a show, take a closer look, and you'll see the massive size difference between these two. Coyotes are no slouches, weighing in at around 40 pounds, but big male wolves can tip the scales at a whopping 140 pounds. That's a 100-pound difference. You can almost feel the tension as the coyote darts and dodges, throwing the wolf off balance. And just when you think it's game over, the coyote pulls off a slick move and seems to slip away. What an incredible sight for these fishermen to witness. It's moments like these that remind us of the raw power and beauty of nature. Watch this intense battle unfold as a lone mountain lion faces off against a pack of coyotes over an elk carcass. The lion holds its ground, keeping a firm grip on the kill while the coyotes cautiously circle around. With a fierce hiss, the lion warns the pack to back off. Surprisingly, both sides eventually retreat from the carcass, but the coyotes are quick to return and claim it as their own. However, the lion isn't ready to give up just yet. You'll see it drag the carcass back through the snowy terrain. After satisfying its hunger, the lion eventually leaves for good, leaving the remaining scraps for the coyotes. One of them lets out a triumphant howl to signal the lion's departure. According to the camera owner, the coyotes later drag the carcass to a nearby meadow where it was discovered the next morning. Back in September 2022, a small town got wind of a young deer in trouble. It all started when a farmer spotted the deer on his trail camera, and what he saw was shocking. The poor thing had been shot with an arrow, but miraculously, it was still on its feet. News of the injured deer spread like wildfire, and everyone in town wanted to help. Then one evening, as a man returned home from work, he spotted something unusual near his house, a young deer with an arrow stuck in its side. Without hesitation, he sprang into action, unaware that this was the same deer everyone had been talking about. Thankfully, the deer seemed surprisingly relaxed, despite the arrow sticking out of it. Recognizing the urgency, the man knew he had to remove the arrow to prevent any infections or other problems. So, he approached the deer calmly, covering its eyes to keep it steady. It almost felt like the deer sensed the man's intention to help, staying remarkably calm throughout the process. With a steady hand, the man removed the arrow without much difficulty. Still, he wanted to make sure the deer received proper care, so he took it to a wildlife clinic for a thorough checkup. To everyone's relief, the veterinarian there found that the arrow hadn't hit any vital organs and had lodged in a relatively harmless spot. After some rest and recovery, the deer was ready to return to its natural habitat. It's moments like these that remind us of the kindness and compassion in the world. Thanks to that good Samaritan, 
This deer got a second chance at life in the wild. All right, folks, buckle up for a spine-tingling encounter captured in Provo Canyon. In this footage, we see what appears to be a Bigfoot hurling a rock towards the person filming. But here's the kicker. This Bigfoot is no ordinary sight. It's got insanely long arms that have got everyone talking. Now here's where things get interesting. If this were just someone in a costume, how on earth could they throw a rock so accurately? Even with fake arms, it's hard to imagine someone pulling off such a throw without using their real hands. Let's take another look at the footage and see if we can uncover more clues. Now some skeptics might say it's all just a hoax, but they can't quite explain away the rock throwing part. This video hails from the same area as another famous Bigfoot sighting that went viral. While it doesn't guarantee it's the real deal, it's definitely got us scratching our heads. One intriguing theory from the comments suggests that maybe we're not dealing with a person in a costume after all. Perhaps this Bigfoot has evolved some unique skills, like using tools. Think primates using sticks or stones. Could this explain the rock throwing? It's possible that Bigfoot is more than just a mysterious creature lurking in the woods. Maybe there's a whole lot more going on behind those hairy appearances. Imagine yourself deep in the woods when suddenly all the animals start running in one direction. Most folks would probably head the other way, right? But not this person. Instead of retreating, they were intrigued by the unusual sight and decided to investigate further. As they drove closer, they stumbled upon a strange scene a large pile of what seemed like moving bushes. But bushes don't just up and move by themselves, do they? This only fueled their curiosity. Upon closer inspection, they realized that the movement wasn't from bushes at all, but from a creature that looked like a mix of an ape and a human, the legendary Bigfoot, also known as Sasquatch. Despite emitting a growl, it didn't seem aggressive, more focused on its own business than anything else. While some folks interpreted its sounds as warnings, experts in Sasquatch research suggested they might actually be mating calls. What do you think about this encounter? I've seen the video myself, but I have to admit, I'm a bit skeptical about its authenticity. Let's dive into an exciting story from the thick forests of British Columbia. It all happened on a chilly day in December 2012 when a hiker and their trusty dog set out on an adventure along the Teapot Hill Trail near Cultus Lake. But what started as a regular hike turned into something extraordinary. As they strolled along the trail, enjoying the peaceful surroundings, suddenly their dog started barking like crazy. The hiker turned to see what was causing the commotion and couldn't believe their eyes. There, about 50 yards away, stood a massive figure. It was between eight to nine feet tall, covered in thick hair, and its face looked kind of like a mix between a monkey and an ape. It was like nothing they'd ever seen before. Quickly, with shaky hands, the hiker managed to snap a photo using their iPhone 4, even though the creature was far away. Then, feeling a mix of fear and bravery, they threw a rock towards the mysterious figure and hurried back up the trail. Now, you might wonder why the photo is so blurry and why sightings of Bigfoot are often unclear. It's a mystery, and it makes you think, what makes this elusive creature reveal itself sometimes? And why does it always seem to disappear so quickly? Thinking about this encounter, it's natural to wonder how you would react when faced with the unknown. Would you run away like the hiker did, or would you stand your ground? In the wild beauty of Cultus Lake, where nature is king, who knows what secrets are waiting to be discovered? So, could Bigfoot really be out there, hiding in the shadows of British Columbia's forests? It's a tantalizing thought. All right, folks, prepare to get spooked because I've stumbled upon one seriously eerie clip. So, there's this homeowner who's been noticing some really weird stuff going down around his place. First off, 
he's hearing these unsettling noises coming from the roof. But things take a wild turn when he comes back from a quick grocery run to find his neatly arranged stuff in the garage all torn open and rummaged through. I mean, he was only gone for a few minutes. And trust me, the weirdness doesn't stop there. Days go by, and this homeowner just can't shake this creepy feeling. The spooky noises from the roof and outside his home just keep on coming. So, he decides he's had enough, and grabs a flashlight one night to investigate. And guess what? He sees something. While he's searching around, he catches a glimpse of what looks like a figure or some kind of being lurking on his roof. Brave as can be, he decides to climb up there and get a closer look. But the moment he shines his light toward the figure, it disappears into thin air. Then, just seconds later, it reappears. But this time, even closer. I'm telling you, this clip will send shivers down your spine. Now, many folks in the comments are saying this mysterious being looks like an alien, or even the infamous creature known as the Rake. With its pale skin, dark eyes, and big head, it's definitely got a distinctive appearance. Seriously, what on earth is that thing? It's giving me the chills just thinking about it. I'd rather have an axe murderer on my roof than whatever that is. So, if you've got any ideas about what this creature could be, please let me know. At this point, I'm almost hoping it's just some fancy CGI trickery. Let's dive into the intriguing world of lizard people, also known as reptilians, which have sparked curiosity and controversy online. These mythical creatures blur the lines between fact and fiction, appearing in ancient legends, folklore, and even modern conspiracy theories. Some believe these reptilian humanoids are not just mythical, but real beings who hold powerful positions in society, including within the government. The idea traces back to a story from 1929 by Robert E. Howard, but gained significant attention through the work of conspiracy theorist David Icke, who claims they manipulate world events against humanity. There are even accusations that prominent figures like former President Obama might be reptilians in disguise. A widely discussed piece of evidence is a clip from a live broadcast where a man's eyes briefly blink and turn ghostly white amidst a crowd. This moment sparked intense speculation. Was it a technical glitch? Or something more. Could it be evidence supporting the existence of reptilian beings living among us? It's a mystery that continues to captivate curious minds. I've got a soft spot for wild horses, having grown up around them. So when I stumbled upon this trail cam footage of horses dashing through the wilderness in broad daylight, I was hooked. Take a close look and you'll spot a little foal trailing behind the pack. That explains why they're in such a hurry. They're on the move to protect the little one. I can only imagine the foal caught the attention of a bear, prompting this swift escape. It's moments like these that give us a peek into the wild world around us. And it's a clear reminder that when it comes to outrunning a bear, having four legs definitely has its advantages. All right, folks, let's dive into this intriguing footage claiming to capture a Bigfoot in action. So, what we're seeing here is this orange creature running down a hill. It's quite a sight, isn't it? Now, there's a lot of debate swirling around this video. Some folks are quick to call it fake, pointing out how smoothly it moves without using its arms. Others, though, are intrigued by its sheer size, thinking it might just be the real deal. I mean, it's not every day you come across something like this. Now, let's talk about that orange color. Could it be some kind of special adaptation to its environment? Or maybe its fur changes color depending on the season? That's not typically what we hear about Bigfoot. But hey, anything's possible. And what about its arms? The fact that it doesn't use them much has got people speculating. Maybe it evolved differently from other creatures. Or perhaps it's injured in some way. Whether this video turns out to be a clever hoax or a genuine glimpse of an unknown creature, it definitely gets the imagination running wild. Who knows what other mysterious creatures might be lurking out there in the wild? 
just waiting to be discovered? It's food for thought, that's for sure. Get ready for a wild tale straight from the woods of Colorado. A trail camera snapped a photo of a mysterious creature that looks just like a unicorn elk. Yep, you heard that right. This majestic animal has got everyone talking, from local folks to wildlife experts. But hold on a sec. Unicorns are supposed to be purely make-believe, right? They're mythical creatures from fairy tales, not something you'd find wandering around in the forest. But here's the thing. That photo sure looks real, and that horn on the elk's forehead? Definitely not something you see every day. Some folks are crying foul, saying it's got to be some kind of camera trickery. But hey, I'm not so sure about that. To me, it looks like a perfectly healthy elk with a unique mutation. So, what's the verdict? Mythical magic or a one-of-a-kind mutation? I'm leaning towards the latter, but I'd love to hear what you think. Have you ever seen anything like this before? It's a real head-scratcher, that's for sure. Let's dive into a compilation of clips from an amazing channel that gives us a peek into the wonders of nature. First up, we've got a bear using a tree as a back-scratcher. It's a sight to behold. With just a gentle push, it looks like that tree could topple over. But hey, who can resist a good back-scratch, right? Now, let's talk about that curious encounter between a deer and a coyote. What's the backstory there? The deer seems annoyed as the coyote dashes past, leaving us all wondering about their relationship. Trail camera footage sure knows how to keep us intrigued. Next, we've got some stunning foxes on the scene. These ones are silver and black with reddish underbellies. Quite different from the usual red foxes we see around here. I think they might be gray foxes. Watch as they frolic on the rock bed, enjoying themselves to the fullest. And how about that majestic sight of an elk herd hitting the water? It's like something out of a dream, with the stunning backdrop adding to the beauty of the scene. While we initially thought they might be sensing a predator, the footage remains serene offering us a glimpse into the serene wilderness. Last but not least, we've got a nighttime showdown between two bucks, likely in the heat of rutting season. Watch as they clash, tumbling down embankments and locking antlers in an epic battle. It's nature's drama at its finest. These trail camera moments truly capture the essence of the wild, leaving us in awe of the wonders that unfold in nature's playground. Hold on to your hats, folks, because there's a wild photo making the rounds on social media that's got everyone talking. It's a picture taken in the forests of Montana, and it seems to show something totally out of this world. A bear with elk antlers. Yep, you heard me right. A bear-elk hybrid, or as some folks are calling it, a belk. The creature in the photo looks like a bear, but check out those massive antlers sprouting from its head. They're just like the ones you'd see on an elk. Now, I know what you're thinking. How on earth could this be real? Bears and elk are totally different animals, from different families even. Hybrid animals with such distinct genetic makeup are super rare in nature. And there's no scientific proof that they can even exist. But here's the kicker. Those antlers look fully grown and perfectly formed, leading some experts to think that maybe, just maybe, this belk isn't a hoax after all. Could it be a genuine hybrid of a bear and an elk? It's a real head-scratcher, that's for sure. What do you think? Hoax or a whole new species? Once upon a time in October 2020, Kyle Burgess went for a jog near Sleek Canyon in Utah. While jogging, he stumbled upon some cute cougar cubs blocking his path. Kyle knew it was risky because where there are cubs, there's usually a protective mama cougar nearby. Quick on his feet, Kyle pulled out his phone to film the scene. As he cautiously backed away, he spotted the mama cougar emerging from the trees, eyeing him with a mix of curiosity and concern. She began to approach him, and Kyle, feeling nervous, started making loud noises and big gestures to try and scare her off. But the determined cougar kept following him making for some tense moments. You're a scary kitty cat. Holy No, go away! Go away! No! No! 
you, dude. Oh. For more than six minutes, Kyle kept his cool, trying to keep the cougar at bay. Eventually, after what must have felt like forever, the cougar retreated back into the woods, allowing Kyle to breathe a sigh of relief and safely leave the area. Kyle's video of the encounter went viral on social media, grabbing the attention of news outlets everywhere. Thankfully, Kyle emerged from the encounter unscathed. This story reminds us all to stay alert and know how to handle unexpected wildlife encounters when enjoying the great outdoors. Kudos to Kyle for his impressive camera skills and quick thinking.